Hello guys, your Revit Operator is back. Okay, in this video, we modeling a simple dam or a small dam using a uh, weed basal. Okay, before we jump to the tutorial, I would like to say thank you again to all of you. And if you are new in this channel, and if you like the content of this channel, please don't forget to like and share, and it help me out a lot. Include, uh, especially subscribe to in to all of my video tutorials so let's jump to the tutorial so in this project we i use this architectural template okay architectural architectural template so first thing we will do is to set the units of our project okay so for me this millimeter okay command units mm okay i put this mm so next one is to command rp okay reference plane okay. replace one two and three okay this is uh, just in case if we need this one okay so now we start modeling a dam to do that one i use this massing inside okay model in place dump and dump shape okay dump dump shape okay pick this create form solid form i choose this second one okay fine wire frame and pick this or pick this one and void up oh, sorry we go to isometric pick this void form and pick into the parameter so already deleted in the shape of the bottom one so we go to level one okay i just simply pick this hit finish and architectural uh, massing inside wall pick this and modify okay so now we go back to architectural model in place i use the generic model okay so the um, facade So, in that facet, I will use this swept blend, okay, because from the bottom is the big one and the top one is the smaller one. So, I use this one. So, instead of go to sketch, I want, I use this pick, okay, and just simply modify, go to modify, pick again, and simply adjust in this corner. So, now, the profile one, okay go to south elevation it's better okay pick this edit profile okay so directly you can draw it without any reference okay so now i draw it like this and let's say here 80 because this is the smaller one and here i think 140 we will see it so it look like this Okay, maybe it's okay this one. So I just put simply make uh, some design here, trim and extend. Okay, trim and extend, trim and extend. And delete this one, mirror it into the other side. Okay, so now I simply hit this one. Okay, and I will go to the east or the big one. Okay, here is the big one. Okay, so select profile to pick this one, edit profile, and make a rectangle here like this. Okay, now so I start the measurement for this one. I pick this, I think here is 300, so it's bigger than in the other side. Okay, and I pick this, I make this maybe I think 500, so it's uh, precise into the other side. So I just use again this uh, circle uh, arc 
and make like this and like that okay so I use this trim and extend trim and extend okay it's not looking again trim and extend oops trim and extend my mouse is there is some uh, problem okay so trim and extend okay and I just simply delete this and mirror it again in the other side okay so we have like this so if we go to 3d i just simply hit finish and after that oh sorry hit finish again double double finish so there is a shape like this so next thing we will do is to it's better you set this one this uh, facade it's up to you okay I just want only 2% or I use this template so that you can follow what I did to make a facade like this okay for me to so it's clear into my screen I just use this this um, kind of material okay so we will set it into realistic we will see what happened okay so we have like this for now we don't need the realistic so i will just simply go to south elevation okay so we are here in the south elevation now so you just simply pick this one okay because the already set it okay once again the material do not copy i just present uh, i just using in this um, tutorial that kind of material okay so it look like clear you can do wood type it's up to you guys okay so i just simply pick this one okay i use this rotate okay sometimes my rotate is not working into this into me okay I will simply so it's not working so what we will do now just go to rotate again copy go here and press this one so you can adjust here and rotate it rotate it here and here it is already and delete this one and go to top level one okay you cannot see go to side plan okay so you can rotate also this one or I hear I use this array command okay array radial array mm, diam our diameter is 20 so 20 also we put there last okay don't worry uncle pick again this one drag here make sure that you are in the center okay and after that I just simply go here and rotate it like this so we will see so we have already like this okay and hit finish oh okay so no any worry for that pick this all a okay, mirror mirror okay mirror remove constraint okay and just delete this okay and delete this one so hit finish okay so we are already here so next thing we will do is to pick this okay we are in the side don't forget pick this and I want this one as height okay I hide this and double I want to double click this pick this one okay I just simply put any material here okay to show this uh, Passat or 
Okay, I'll go to isometry. Now, let's see what is looks like. Okay, so I just simply pick this, okay, and hide it again. So, now we have a view like this. Okay, guys. So, this tutorial is uh, end into this part. And you can uh, you can play it into your uh, Revit software to follow just only you follow only the procedure if uh, how we do okay to this kind of shape or dumb shape okay you can add also this uh, the floor if you want and add the simple landscape okay it's up to you guys if you want that kind of uh, views mm, very presentable okay so it's up to you guys you just follow my the procedure okay so you can do it by yourself okay so this is ready for render okay you can change as, uh, as was I have said in the beginning you can do it this one you can materialize it it's up to you guys okay so if you like this video again share or subscribe so that you're always uh, updated and that is uh, it's helped me uh, a lot okay to stay this channel so thank you to all of you and if you try to view my other tutorials uh, there is a this uh, second page in the description you can click this one and you go directly into my playlist if you want thank you guys and god bless you all see you again in my next video or next tutorial